the video just started on. Sorry, Miss Mary, without me even touching it. <laughs> Holy cow, this is going to be a good one. Yes, <laughs> Howdy, y'all. I don't even have my earbuds in. I guess I don't need them. I, I think I have them next to me here. Well, anyway, that was weird. The camera just started on its own. Mm -hmm. I sat down here to clear the space and the camera flipped on by itself. Mm -hmm. And I just told Spirit, I was like, let's do something show-stopping amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spirit's already showing off, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going on here tonight. Who is this message for, Holy Spirit, besides Miss Mary? <laughs> She always supports me. Who is this for? You bet. Scorpio. I love Scorpio. I have a lot of Scorpio. My Venus is Scorpio. And then if you go by side reel astrology, <laughs> I'm like almost 100% Scorpio. <laughs> So I can really, really relate to Scorpio's readings, but I don't read for myself. I can't read for myself, so I want to read for you. What kind of reading does Scorpio need, Spirit? Let's get started here. What What's the prayer for Scorpio? Since you just started your video without even telling me. Dear God, thank you for your gift of life, of faith, and of my calling. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you and others. Dear Father, thank you for making me your beloved child now and forever. Amen. And that's exactly right. You must be serving others somehow, Scorpio. What virtues are you working on in Scorpio's life, Spirit? The song that came through before I sat down here was Here I Go Again by Whitesnake. But I was supposed to do a private reading. I think that might have been for them. Scorpio, you've got some Sagittarius showing up. Look, my candle's trying to fall over. Thank you. Okay. Scorpio, you have forgiveness. You have peace and you have gratitude with self-control. Okie dokie. You might be dealing with a Capricorn somehow. Or you might have that in your chart. Because this could be the other side of the story we got from Capricorn this morning. I don't know why I feel that way. We're going to find out. All right, Magic Oracle. What message do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have for the sign of Scorpio? Magic, instant Magic Oracle book. Go easy on yourself. Things needn't be so difficult. Stop with the comparison to others. You are on your own path and they are on theirs. For some reason, the the group or the band White Snake, there's a lot of old 80s type music coming through for you. You must have that somehow relevant to you um, in your life. You may have been, you might be my age. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Spirit. You use the red deck. All right. How are you working overall in Scorpio's life, Holy Spirit? The full in reverse, all right? What's not working? So you're not wanting to, oh, the moon, wow. All right, and how do we pull this together? You're having to go through some kind of, you're having to use your, you're having to forgive. You're in your emotions. Look, the lovers, the wheel and the tower in reverse. So this is like you are realizing that you don't need to take a risk for some reason. There's something you need to be careful not to take a risk about. You're in your emotions, and this is going to prevent a shitload of karma if you make the right choice. And then, look, you're going to use your intuition. Bless it be. <laughs> wow, this is going to be powerful. I can tell that already. And this little deck of cards right here is freaking amazing, if you haven't noticed. I can't wait to get the other decks that I ordered. I think we're going to have some fresh energy. <clears throat> All right, we have thoughts and judication. So, you might be thinking about having to go to court or 
somebody being judgmental. Somebody, yeah, it's like court. It's like you got something official going on with court. Or somebody might have to decide your fate. Anything official that has to decide your fate. But definitely court for somebody. Because see, look, him, he's in his little wig. I think they wear those in Europe and in England. And you're thinking about somebody you love. And it looks like it could be your mother. See that woman? If she looks familiar to you, it could be your mother. You could have a picture of your mother that looks like that. That somebody painted or they drew or they took a picture of. Somebody paints, though. And you're thinking about how somebody has to do this, this judication, this jury, this trial. Thinking about having to go to court or having to have somebody decide your fate. Oh, and there's a child. Look. It could involve a child. What a cute little girl. It could be about um, custody. You could have to go to court over custody, or you might be involved with social services. A message of concern and adjudication. So, you're in trouble because somebody was concerned about somebody's well-being, Scorpio. And this, I think, it looks like to me... That you know there's a reason for, for concern, but this is not really who you are. And so you're embarrassed about this. Like, you're, you're embarrassed. You need to forgive yourself, I think, so you can have peace and have gratitude again. You're definitely going through something legal, it looks like, or official. Oh, and then there's a message and adjudication. So you might be getting um, a message an email, a letter, could actually get something in the mail about this. You could have gotten a letter in the mail telling you that you have this coming up. All right, Spirit. How did this happen to Scorpio? How did this happen to Scorpio, Holy Spirit? Marriage came out, y'all. Oh, number three, marriage. It has to do with a marriage. Scorpio, it's about marriage. You may be getting married, or you may have recently gotten married, or you might be thinking about marriage. Uh, the dogwoods are blooming, so this could be a spring wedding for sure. Beautiful, beautiful flowers you've chosen for this wedding, or you have. This could have been a past wedding. Look at those beautiful bouquet. It's about marriage, Scorpio. Period. Alright, what's being hidden from Scorpio spirit? It could be about a divorce from looking at the pre-shuffle. What's being hidden? Toil and labor. Toil and labor. Look, somebody's working hard at this marriage. Or working hard. Work is definitely work. And it's toil. Toil is when you have to dig deep. And work hard. And this is the number 11. So, so far we have 3 and 11. I'm trying to be more cognizant of the numerology in the readings. This is number 18. Which is 9. The fool is 0. The tower is 16. The wheel, uh, I can't tell if it's 20. I think it's 9. And then the lovers is 6. And we have 5, the high priest on the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to let you keep up with that because I, my brain doesn't do numbers and it takes away from my attention with the reading. Alright, what's being shown, Spirit? Oh, a lot is being shown. <laughs> I'm not going to take that. It felt like it was slippery. What's being shown? You might work in a sewing factory, or you could have in the past, or you might work in a factory. What's being shown? You could have had an accident in this factory. 
It looks dangerous. Expectation. You have an expectation, or there is an expectation. Somebody has an expectation. There's a woman sitting in the window waiting patiently for something to happen. Number 10 is here. 3, 11, 10, or 2, 10. 3, 2, 10, or 3, 11, 10. Could be a significant date to your life. All right, well, what's going to happen next? A mature woman on a journey. A mature woman on a journey. And a courtship. A courtship. You're going to have a courtship, Scorpio. You have an expectation of marriage, it looks like. And you've been working hard on this, too. Or you just are a hard worker. I'm not sure which. I'm not really sure what's going on yet. These cards are amazing, though. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, how did this happen to Scorpio Spirit? Please let me know if this resonates. Somebody has a blue and purple outfit. I don't know why that... Somebody has an obsession and it's protected. Look. Obsession and protected. And why am I starting with these cards? Like, I didn't mean to pick these up, but I'm going to keep going with it. An obsession and protected. Because somebody's unavailable. Alright, what's being hidden, spirit? A new love. Somebody's hiding new love. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Somebody's hiding their feelings, but they have feelings. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. You fought hard at this, too, and you have had an obsession, but Spirit says you've been protected. This is like someone is gripped with obsessive thoughts, or you could have an addiction, and you've been protected. All right, what's being shown? You could have been um, getting, uh, like, you might have just gotten a little bit out of character with, you know, like, you might have recovery, and you had a slip or a relapse. Or you may have realized, oh, I'm getting out of control with this addiction. All right, what's being shown? Acceptance. All right, and what's going to happen next? You're going to have to wait. Nobody likes to hear that, right? <laughs> you're going to have to wait. That's why you're going to be a mature woman on a journey, because you have to wait. Why do they have to wait, Spirit? Because now... Your true love is already a part of your life, but you have to wait. Clarify what you mean. You have to have patience. Like, Spirit, come on, man. Come on. Give us something besides that. Oh, you got to get this. You got to get this obsession under control. That's what's going on here. You need stability also. You have to wait right now and be patient. That's what it says straight up. Spirit says you have to wait here and now and be patient. You're a mature woman. You're going to be mature about this. And you're somebody has to go on a journey. You might have to go on a trip. You have an obsession about marriage. And it's protected. <laughs> and you have new love. New love. And you've been working hard. I think it might be a recommitment to love. Or it may be somebody you've never had a relationship with. And you've just been talking to this person for a while. And it's just finally moving into love. And Spirit says, you've been expecting this, but you're having to have acceptance for the fact that you have to wait here and now and be patient because you're a mature woman and you know you have to have stability or the person you're going to be courting. Courtship is different than dating. Courtship is, courtship is like when you're in the talking stages, like whenever they used to have courting back in the day. They would, like, the man would come to the house, and they'd have to meet the parents. And if you laid down in the bed together, they put a board between you. <laughs> like, you were not allowed to have sexual relations at the point of courtship. That was before you get to the point of intimacy in sexual ways. If that explains courtship. But 
what you don't see coming is you're going to use your intuition about this courtship because spirit is saying you have to be mature about this and wait and that's why you're not taking a risk and that's why you're in your emotions because of this obsession and you're about to have a tower about this choice you're about or you're, you're trying to avoid a tower because you don't want anything karmically related to come back on you or something that's what it's kind of looking like this is definitely a love reading. All right, let's see what else comes out here. This is the deck I meant to pick up. <coughs> so, show me how this happened to Scorpio Spirit. <laughs> Somebody's doing too many chores, and you have logic for a reason. Use it. <laughs> You're definitely a mature woman when you do too many chores, right? <laughs> right. Probably have a child. Oh, wow. Oral love is in your future, and you have logic for a reason. Use it. That could be about you getting communication from this person that you're courting in the future. Yeah, it's your fault. Say that out loud. I'm sorry. You have logic for a reason. Remember forgiveness? Somebody did something wrong here, or they felt like they did. We haven't gotten to that part of this message yet, though. All right, Spirit, how did this happen? I'm going to take them. You had to spend time with Bay, and they were irritated. Spend time with them. Make art, love, or music, and they're irritated. <laughs> Who wants to spend time with somebody that's irritated? We can't be all things. This is toil and labor, this new love. <laughs> All right, what's being hidden? Wow. All right. Interrupting is for assholes. If you want shit to be different, change yourself first and cook a fucking meal. Homemade food is foreplay. So, this is like a recommitment to love or new love. And somehow, this... Like, it's toil and labor because this person interrupts you and they don't let you finish your sentences. They want shit to be different, but they don't want to change. <laughs> and they want you to cook a fucking meal. Like, they're interrupting you because they want you to cook a meal. It's like, calm down already. Leave me alone. All right, what's being shown, spirit? I don't know what you're having to wait for. It's time to talk money. It's time for shit to get real and stop trying to control every damn thing. Remember acceptance and expectation. Like, you want to talk money, you want shit to get real, and you want somebody to stop trying to control every damn thing. But over here, they trying to interrupt you, talk talk to you about cooking dinner, and they want things to be different. <laughs> so somebody secretly interrupts. This, this is a new love interrupting because somebody wants something to be different. There's a new love interrupting here, and it's causing you to have to toil and labor secretly. You're obsessed, but your marriage, I think, is protected. I think you're married and you have somebody else. I'm just saying. All right, what's going to happen next? Because why else would new love come out when you're married? Open your mouth. Use big words like empathize, validate, and acknowledge. So there's a sense here that somebody doesn't talk about their feelings. Or they don't talk about anything, really, except cook a fucking meal. And it's time to talk money. <laughs> wow, this is a complicated situation. And fuck your feelings. You have logic for a reason. Use it. Spirit, you're taking me all over the place here. I need some tarot on this one. You're fucking stressed, too. I, I feel like we're going to have some tea off of this reading. All right, Spirit, why is the fool here in reverse? The tower, y'all, cannot make this up. And it flew out. Somebody's about to have a tower. <coughs> and that tower is what's going to pull this together. Somebody could have been involved in 9-11, um, where the planes hit the towers. 
You could have been in New York City when that happened, for sure. I, why is the moon here? These cards are coming out with force. Because somebody said something that ripped you apart. They said something to you that really hurt you. Like, felt like it ripped your spine out. They come in quick and said it, too. What an asshole. Alright, why is the tower here for Scorpio Spirit? Because of divine timing. The Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Because you realize that this is not the right time. Because this person is immature and they might like to party too much. Or they just want to be friends. Like, they don't want to move this forward. They just want to play and have fun. And you're talking about, we need to talk about money. It's time for this shit to get real. And you need to stop trying to control your feelings here. You're spending time with them, but you're irritated. Alright, why is the lovers here for Scorpio Spirit? This is a wild reading, y'all. Why is the lovers here? That magician tried to pop out. Gemini's here for sure. We got Aries. We got Cancer. We got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We got Leo. We got Aquarius. We got Cancer. And we've got um, Leo, Cancer, Aquarius. I'm, I'm missing somebody. Taurus. And then we got Gemini with um, Cancer and Pisces, Scorpio. Because the choice you have to make is about whether you want to wait and plan on this being something you do in the future. And if you can tame your freaking hunger for this person. You are totally obsessed with somebody. And they're an asshole. And you want something to be different. You've got to cook. Somebody's starting to develop. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Somebody's been unawakened and, and talking shit, too. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> what a frustrating situation. All right, why is the high priest on the bottom of the deck? I'm glad you're going to use your um, intuition about this. Because this sounds like somebody you need to avoid right now until they grow up. Oh, Lord. Look at here. Because of this emperor and this queen of wands. You're going to use your intuition about this fool being with somebody else. Because that ain't, that ain't a Scorpio. That's a fire sign. <laughs> That's an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. And it could definitely be an Aries. <laughs> they got somebody else. And you're obsessed with them. How does this person feel about Scorpio? Show me the truth. How do they feel deep down inside about Scorpio? What is their true feelings towards the sign of Scorpio spirit? This emperor with this fire sign. If that is you, you've got some passion going on. The high priestess is here with learning some lessons. <sighs> Wow, this person's done taught you some lessons. That's the truth. You've taught them some lessons. In fact, I think that they... They are intrigued by your spirituality, even. That's how they feel about you. Like, you're a very very gifted and they've learned some lessons but look they got something new about to start clarify these lessons they've learned spirit what have they learned from scorpio you done taught them some lessons you've schooled them scorpio about being cold about work about being divinely guided about having sexual encounters that make your dreams come true Wow. So the lessons they've learned from you are that people can be hard to let go of. <laughs> but sometimes they're worth putting in the work and the effort when you're divinely guided and you can have these sexual encounters that make your dreams come true. That's what you've taught them. I don't know that that's a good lesson. And you're manifesting this person because you are obsessed. And when you're obsessed, you, you draw your thoughts to you. But if they're resisting that, that can be incredibly frustrating, can it? 
I don't know that we've gotten any any real answers for you here. We're just seeing what your situation is, really. What would you say to Scorpio out of here? What would you say to Scorpio? Whew. You are lifting the veil of illusion and becoming more conscious of the world around you. So I think you're being cognizant of the fact that this isn't going to happen, that you have to wait because this person is unawakened. You're having to tame your hunger. All right, what else? Somebody has blonde hair and green eyes and they look like Reese Witherspoon. It's not rejection, it's redirection for sure. And learn to love your reflection. So you're in love with somebody that don't really care about you. Write a letter confessing your feelings and then burn it. And definitely don't tell this asshole how you feel. Because they just don't care. I mean, <laughs> they feel like you're very uh, intuitive and that you've taught them that it's sometimes hard to let go of people. That people can be cold, but if you work on being divinely guided, you might get a sexual encounter that'll make your dreams come true. What kind of shit is that? Come on, Scorpio. You can do better than that, baby. All right, Spirit. Talk to me about where Scorpio's at right here in this journey. Where is Scorpio at? Yeah, I see karmic partner. I see soulmate. It looks like you've got marriage on your mind. This person ain't even ready, like... They barely got feelings somehow. You got big dreams. That's where you're at. You got big dreams, but that's all you have. There's nothing tangible here that substantiates these dreams except a sexual encounter that keeps making somebody's dreams come true or that they feel is going to. Like, they feel like they can be cold to you and still work on this and that it's going to be divinely guided to make their dreams come true sexually. I'm sorry, Scorpio, but that ain't cool. <laughs> All right, where is this person at, Spirit? Where is this person at in this situation? Show me the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Where are they at? They're a third party. Or in a third party. They could be in a place. A place. About to have a new start, too. All right, what's connecting these two besides a lot of sex? <laughs> And a lot of talking shit, telling somebody to cook a meal. Somebody's bound. Like, it's like y'all are bound to each other sexually. Wow. What if I being bound? Somebody, oh, that came out with force. Somebody regrets this. Somebody regrets being stuck with you. Ooh. This person is a piece of work. What's going to happen with Scorpio next, Spirit? You're going to keep having these nostalgic, really, you know, like, constantly remembering. Don't, don't romanticize this, though, okay? Be real with yourself. What do you want Scorpio to do next, Spirit? Look, you need to know that there's some deception, Scorpio. Talk to me about this deception, Spirit. <clears throat> Look, Divine Feminine popped out, y'all. Either you're deceiving yourself or they're deceiving you. I don't know which. Oh, la. Talk to me about this third party this person's in, Spirit. What's going on with this person with this third party? I think they have a third party. Something happened in the winter. Somebody returned. And they had to pause. There was a third party in the winter because somebody returned and this ended, like stopped. You had to put it on pause. Wow. <laughs> and it looks like this fool is over here with this Queen of Wands. I want to find out how this Queen of Wands feels. Show me how this Queen of Wands feels about this Emperor Spirit. The Magician came out with the Four of Swords. So, this person is manifesting healing. And withdrawing from love. <sighs> it, that's what's going on with this Queen of Wands. They might be with this person, but they're manifesting to break up. This third party with the winner and returning for a pause. Manifesting a breakup because of somebody being insecure, controlling, and holding on too tight. That's how that Queen of Wands feels. How does the Emperor feel about her? <clears throat> Wishing. Wishing what? 
that he was with this queen of pentacles that he thinks about all the time. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> this person is with a queen of wands. And the queen of wands don't want to be with them. And they're wishing they were with the queen of pentacles. <laughs> wow. What in the hell is going on? This is confusing. Look. And this is going to be a very painful betrayed ending. Oh, Scorpio. Man. I don't even know how to help you here. What should Scorpio do, Spirit? The devil came out in reverse. Stop being obsessed, Scorpio. Don't be obsessed. Spirit, how do we get rid of obsession? Talk to me about that. You start something new. You get your mind on something else. You get this offer from somewhere else. <laughs> Look, and you cut this person out of your life completely. Like, don't keep playing games with this fool. Because they are not into you. I don't care what they're telling you. Let's see what they would secretly say to you. What's the hidden truth that this person would say to Scorpio? Oh, perfect card, spirit. Perfect card. What would they secretly say to Scorpio? We got us a love triangle. I trusted you. They would say, I trusted you. I can't do this. What would Scorpio say to them? I feel so drawn to you. And I find you so attractive. Like, you're obsessed. Why did they trust them, Spirit? Because they still have feelings for you also. They only trusted you because they have feelings for you and they miss seeing you. So what would they say to this third party? I don't know how to feel and I'm recovering. So they're getting over this person they broke up with, but I do love you. Why do they still love them if they're getting over them, spirit? I would do it all again. Oh my God, this is so crazy. And I want you so badly. <clears throat> ah, third parties. And I mean to tell you, this is a doozy. This is a doozy right here. <laughs> this is a doozy. I don't even know if we need to ask about your money. Because I can see you've got it spread thin. <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of healing y'all need. What kind of healing does Scorpio need, Spirit? You're sad. You have a lot of sadness. Alright, what about this person? Whoa. How teachable are you? You self-sabotage and you need to release your creativity. All right, how about this other person? They're the one that has the rejection and they need healing in their family and tribe and in their pride. Wow. And I have pride and ego here too on the bottom of this deck. And then we have help from above. And y'all definitely be needing some help from above, honey. Y'all got some drama with y'all. All right, spirit. Talk to me out of this deck. What would you say? Spirit says you've got a house and you need to use your intuition because you have an angel. Your house is here. It could be for sale. You could have sold your house and you need to use your intuition about this because this was an angelic help. You, were, you had angelic help with this house, whatever this house is, and just starting something new. All right, what else would you say to Scorpio? Whoa, the lovers came out, y'all. The lovers. What about the lovers, Spirit? The coins are here. The lovers. You have to choose to focus on your coins. <laughs> or this love is gone. Oh, Spirit, we got to look at money because we got broken hearts on the bottom of the deck. All right, talk to me about the coins. Why are the coins here? Because somebody has a lot of fear about being careful with how they spend their money. And about science and a crafter. All right, you might be a crafter. You might craft and make things, or you might need to be. You know, you might need to come up with ways to make money off of your crafting. But there's fear about how to spend your money and about science. You might be looking for a job in the scientific field, or you might have fear. 
I don't know why science is here with all of this. Why are they having science here? Why is science here, Spirit for Scorpio? May we see, please? You're afraid and you're having to be careful when it comes because of a teacher and success will find you. I feel like somebody understands these cards. You're afraid. You're afraid of how to spend your money. You might not have enough money. And you're looking for a job in science and you're a crafter somehow. The Spirit says you have learned a lesson and success is going to find you. So maybe you overdid it spending and Spirit says you learned your lesson. Beware though. Why is beware on the bottom of the deck? Oh, Lord. Because of a counselor, envy, a rebel, a promoter, a student, their voice, and a designer. Oh, Lord, you got a counselor, you're, and you're jealous. Maybe you're going to counseling. You've been being very rebellious and putting your shit out there. And now you're a student using your voice and designing. Uh, damn if I know. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Justice is here. Why is justice here? Because you need to work hard in silence and embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Remember there was something legal? There was something legal. I think that was in the pre-shuffle. And you got some goals. You're going to get justice if you just work hard in silence and embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Keep setting goals for yourself. I'm going to leave it at that because I think that's going to be enough for you. You know what's going on here. All right, can we get some uh, meditation for Scorpio? What would you say? Every morning I am born again. What I do today is what matters most. If I truly believe it, I can create it. And I have everything I need right now for an abundant life. With, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Carl Jung. Alright. This feels like it's been very scattered. But that's how life is sometimes. Right? Right. Alright, let's see what will come out of here. What would you say to Scorpio out of this Oracle deck? You need closure. Alright. Somebody needs closure. And you're going to have good luck and happiness. Alright. What else? These are different cards than we normally get. Compassion. Like I think this is t teaching you compassion. And it has to do with a friendship that you need clarity about. And you might be having dreams about this person too. What's the clarity here, Spirit? That somebody's going to travel and have confidence. Confidence in what? In their career and that there's going to be a transformation in your prosperity. Baby! I love it. I love it, Scorpio. I love it. I don't know what else to say to you. I think you don't need to be beat down, though. You need to be encouraged. How the angels helping? Friendship. I'm sorry, partnership. I don't know why I said friendship. Courage, joy, and passion, fire. You're going to have a partnership with somebody. You're going to have courage. You're going to have a lot of joy and a lot of passion. All right, what else? Here might be sending you some help for your toils and labor. You're going to have healing in your faith. Beautiful. What else? Somebody's going to surrender to a divine plan. And people, places, and things are going to be strategically placed right where they need to be. Placed for what, Spirit? For you to have protection and purity. Beautiful. I like that. And vision on the bottom of the deck. All right, Spirit, who are you talking to? I'm not going to drag this out. I-Y-L-L-Q-A-K. K A L L Y. Callie? Callie? <laughs> Could be Kelly. Just so well. W T E E P P A, y'all. E E P P T W A. 
Oh, wow. Big Spirit. G-M-K-F-O-A-T. <laughs> I felt like that was fog hat for some reason. N-G-A-Z-Q-O-V. Somebody's into some old rock and roll. That's all I can say. S-R-H-T-L-K-F. Please let me know if this resonated with you. K-Y-B-C-C-H-S. Trinket Squeeze Spirit for the sign of Scorpio. I love your energy, though. I really hope that you'll let me know if this resonated. I think you're somebody new. I have a, a butterfly that says miracles happen. I have... You versus you, a fancy ball, a quarter that's got a piece missing. You might be into old money. Made with love, a piece of crystal, a piece of lapis, an angel, a fancy heart, a gecko or some kind of reptile, a star, an elephant, a cat, success, 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 make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. She believed she could, so she did. A flamingo, an angel, a Catholic coin, a tree of life, a seahorse, they mate for life, a hand for intuition, you might be a card reader, a tennis racket and a tennis ball, horns, horns up, you know, uh, a heart with an arrow through it, you are my sunshine, and another cat, so somebody's got a cat. Two of them, maybe. All right, think it's so you probably see it from this other bowl. What do you have for Scorpio? Out of here. <coughs> I have two, three of the biggest keys in the bowl. A humongous keys to that house of yours. A ball. A skull. An, a feather. A butterfly. Two arrows, Sagittarius in the house. An angel. An eye for intuition. Live your dream. Dream big and you are always in my heart. A ball. A compass. Definitely going to get you an eye chain. Drive safe. I need you here with me. A prick or a cactus. An angel. A triangle. You might be into um, 12 step groups or this could be about your intuition. I looked it up. A maple leaf. A ball. William Shakespeare and every fair from fair sometimes declines. You could be in college. The love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. And Harry Potter, nine and three quarters. I'm sorry you're obsessed with this person because that's the worst. It's so hard. But Spirit is indicating that the best way to get over this obsession is to start something new. And it looks like somebody secretly has a new love. All right, Spirit. What, what's the eye chain message? The well and lasting. So we got 48. We got 12 in. That's 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we have 3 and 2. 32, which is 5. Alright, the well. The well or source is independent. You cannot lose it. You, nor can you grasp onto it. People and experiences come and go. Time passes. The well is always the well. Never doubt that you have these resources or that they are enough. The potential is in the situation is undeniable, but it may still be a long way from realization. What is the ever-present resource you draw from, and what can you do to realize its potential here? And I think that fits perfectly with this reading. It's like, you know there's potential for this, and you know that it's there, but you can't do anything about it but wait here and now. You have to wait and be patient. And Spirit says that you're obsessed and it's protected. So it's going to happen in divine timing. Keep tirelessly to your own path. Whatever landscape it travels through is not a mistake. What last bears fruit, not because you arrive at some final destination, but because through all the changes you persevere in the intent, always finding ways to make it real. What inspiration are you making real in your daily life? How can you continue on the same path even as you adapt? And who will you become by preserving in this? All right. 
And then Spirit told me to get you one of these while I was reading that. I mean, it was so loud, I don't even know what I was saying. All right, Spirit. What do you want to say to Scorpio out of here? Freaking beautiful. We keep getting this over and over again. And Lioness. We keep getting the same cards over and over. So you must be the same people. Or at least the message is very similar. Freaking beautiful. You are here to march to your own beat. You can be happy and free whether the world looks at you with awe, admiration, confusion, love, or all of these at once. Others can love you even if they can't always understand you. Being different doesn't have to mean being alone. It's only when you try to change yourself to fit into a stereotype that you will lose your way, becoming unhappy, discovering obstacles, and feeling increasingly rejected or defeated. The universe doesn't want you to be someone else. Else. It wants you to be you. When you quit trying to fit in and enjoy being yourself, you win. And then lioness number 26. So we have seven and eight. Your ability to love yourself and be empowered is maturing. You are learning that the real beauty and value of you comes from within. You are learning to rise above emotional game playing with honesty. You can enjoy your attractiveness as a person without allowing it to control your life or your sense of self-worth. If others try to control you through their opinions about your appearance or in any other way, you will, have this, you will be strong enough to recognize it as their issue and nothing to do with you. Others will be attracted to your true inner beauty, appreciating your loveliness and enjoying how it helps them feel good about who they are too. All right, Scorpio, please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Like it, comment on it, and share it. That's like the most biggest blessing to me is if you share my videos. I love you guys. Be blessed. Bye.